Hello guys, what is up? My name is Mike and uh, welcome to this uh, demo video. I want to show you something guys. I've seen that uh, there are so many people that uh, would want to go into fish farming. But um, I thought of uh, sharing this uh, stuff because uh, uh, fish farming is not just something that uh, we should go in and uh, start doing the farming. But before we go into the actual uh, practical farming, first of all, we need to get some of the you know uh, knowledge and some of the expertise that is required for you to go into fish farming. Okay, so uh, in this demo video, all I want to share with you is that uh, all these that I'll, I'll be creating is will be meant for you guys, those uh, that would want to learn fish farming, and uh, those that are thinking of uh, investing into fish farming. So the knowledge uh, you are going, I'm going to be able to help you out. Um, I'll do my best so that uh, you can understand the science behind agriculture and everything you just need to have before you go and invest into fish farming. Okay, so before I show you what are some of the things that will be included in this uh, uh, lecture video is that uh, I want to share with you that uh, about my background uh, education or academic qualification. So. I'm going to share with you some of this stuff. Okay, so um, my name is uh, Mike Warrior and um, I hold a Bachelor of Science in uh, Fisheries and uh, Aquaculture uh, from uh, the Cover Belt University, which I started uh, in um, 2015 and then I finished and graduated in 2019. So now, all I want to share with you is that um, um, I, I'm going to start with uh, the first uh, lecture, which is uh, feeding a husbandry. Now, there are so many people that are facing challenges, difficulties when it comes to the, you know, the science behind the feed, or just um, in terms of feeding. So, in this lecture demo, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that you're going to learn, or some of the stuff that I'm going to release and uh, probably teach you so that uh, you know the right uh, way of feeding the fish or the actual uh, you know amount of a uh, uh, feed that should be subjected to the to the species that you are culturing okay so all you have to do is uh, um, where you're going to find all, all of these are uh, my lecture notes is that uh, I've got a Facebook page which is uh, just uh, called uh, the fish scientist so if you have never uh, you know uh, you know followed my page or like my page please i encourage you to do that right now so that uh, whenever i'll be posting all these uh, lecture notes you'll be the first person to be notified that i have posted something on my official facebook page okay so now let us uh, check out check out some of the contents that will be contained in this uh, lecture video okay so the first one we'll be talking about uh, fish feed okay so in general we are going to understand how um, what are some of the things that you need to know about uh, fish feed. For example, what are some of the ingredients that are used to make feed? What are some of the you know how do you go about uh, uh, calculating the amount of uh, feed that should be subjected to your fish uh, that you're culturing? Secondly, we are going to talk about uh, the feeding methods that are used in order to feed the fish that you're culturing. Uh, so we have to understand some of the uh, stuff. I mean, some of the methods that are used in order to feed your fish, and then we also talk about um, we also talk about uh, the feed efficiency estimation. In this one, we we'll look at uh, when we talk about efficiency, we are looking at uh, how much of the quantity should we approximate that is going to be efficient for the feed to feed. Okay, or uh, that we can feed uh, the fish. So we have to understand. What are some of the um, you know method that can be used to estimate the efficiency feed so that we couldn't actually waste some of the feed, but we can also preserve some uh, because we are able to estimate the actual uh, feed. And then we also look at uh, the feeding rate. Okay, so uh, on this one we'll be just talking about uh, the time. Okay, so the feeding rate is uh, can be the number of times you you may feed your fish. Can also be you know at what time okay and how often okay so which is just uh, simply uh, something that is directly connected to the feeding frequencies okay 
how many times uh, should you feed the fish okay and then lastly but not the least you'll be looking at uh, some of the feeding uh, schedules for different species uh, because this simply means that uh, uh, different species will require you know uh, different times of feeding because of uh, their physiological nature in terms of uh, digestion uh, they are even just the the biological makeup uh, the digesting system and stuff like that okay so we have to understand the science behind it on how we can schedule uh, feeding for different species okay because different species will respond different so we have also to understand the nature of our species that will be a culture so I would like to uh, say that um, please if you want to learn all these that I've talked about just go to Facebook and search for the fish scientist and then you'll be able to find my Facebook page make sure you like and follow it so that uh, whenever I post uh, uh, these uh, whenever I'll be posting all these uh, lecture videos you'll be the first person to be notified so thanks guys for watching and um, I'm looking forward to see you um, there so make sure you subscribe you follow the page you like the page thank you so much